Hey guys, it's Shannon. Thanks for tuning into my video today. So today we are going to be talking about diamond painting. Now I showed this box in my last haul video and said that this was kind of like my newest obsession and you guys said you wanted to hear more about it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so we're going to be talking about what diamond painting is. I'm also going to show some tips and tricks. I'm going to show you a work in progress and some completed diamond paintings in this video and just kind of tell you a little bit about them. So first of all, this is available at Michael's craft stores. This is by a brand called Diamond Dots. It's right there. And if you buy these at Michael's, they come in these nice boxes. It gives you instructions on how to do this, but it's really easy. So there are tons of diamond painting videos out there. I've been binge watching a bunch of them. You can watch videos from like the simplest to the most complicated or um, involved process that people have. Um, personally, I love watching some of the videos where people are like super detailed about just how they organize everything. I think those are pretty cool. I'm not gonna do a video like that. I'm gonna just try to do it as simple as I can because basically, Everything you need to do a diamond painting is in this box right here. Now there's a ton of other things that you can get if you want. I have purchased a few other things which I will be showing you in the video, but basically this is it. It would have everything you need. So let me go ahead and grab out the canvas here to show you. So this is the one that came in this box. So this is what it would look like. Now this one is completed. So I will show you an example of an unfinished one in a minute. But you would get your canvas. It comes with sticky on it. And then it comes with either a clear plastic page like this or um, I'll show you in a minute. It comes with a non-see-through page. So this is to help keep the sticky sticky. <laughs> so as you're working, you would peel up a little bit at a time and work on a section and then cover it back up when you're done. Now, since this is completed, the sticky doesn't stick anymore, but I've still just been keeping them covered just because. Okay, so you get your canvas. This is what's called a partial canvas. This one, let me just pull this off. This one, only the butterfly, the large butterfly, has the little diamonds on it okay and the rest of it is just printed onto the canvas so this is called a partial a full diamond painting kit would mean the entire image is covered with sticky and you put the little dots the little diamonds which are called drills you put those over the entire thing now this was the first one i bought i thought it was a lot of fun and then i binge purchased a bunch on amazon and aliexpress did not pay attention to whether they were full or partial. So that is something I would recommend to pay attention to because some of the partials don't have much to cover on them, <laughs> which you will see if you watch my haul, which is coming up after this video. Um, so I personally have decided that I want to stick with full diamond kits, meaning the entire image. Um, is covered with dots. Okay, so it's called diamond painting. I don't know why it doesn't have anything to do with diamonds and it doesn't have anything to do with painting, <laughs> but I kind of get the concept. These are super sparkly, so they kind of sparkle like diamonds, but they're actually just like a plastic or a resin little bead that you put on there. And I can kind of see how it's like painting because you're adding color to the canvas. But um, yeah, that's basically what it is. So. Uh, you can see the light catches on these and it just sparkles. I know a lot of people frame these and hang them up. Uh, for right now, I'm not going to be doing that. I just have a pile of them, but it is what it is. So, okay, here's your canvas. If you look off to the side, you'll see like a number and then a symbol. And that's because on the canvas, that tells you what colors to use. So in each of these kits here, actually, we're just going to pull out... Let me see. Yes, I'll just pull out another one to show you. So if you purchase from Amazon or AliExpress, you're gonna sometimes get the things in a box. Sometimes you're just gonna get it like this rolled up in a little plastic baggie. So that's what this one is. But I wanna show you 
kind of what you get. So here would be an unfinished canvas. So you can see all the little letters and symbols and over to the side is your chart. They're super easy to read and you would just put the matching color to the matching um, little square. So these are the drills that came with this kit and you can see they are labeled and there's just all the super pretty colors that you would need to complete the kit. Also, every time you get a kit, you get these little tools, which, um, let me just go ahead and open. Different companies send slightly different things, but it's all basically the same. So you get this little like boat, you put your drills in here and that, you know, just leaves them ready to use. You get this little pen and you get a little chunk of wax. So what you would do with your pen is you just stick it down through the wax. Now you can see we have a hole <laughs> in our wax, but now there's some wax in the tip of the pen. So once your little drills are in here, you just you know grab one like that and then stick it onto your um, canvas and just go over and over and over like that. So it's super easy. Um, you get these little pens. I find the pens to be nice. I did buy another pen that I'll show in my haul just because it was fancier. But if you have a hard time gripping pens, there are videos that show you how to make your own custom pen. Or you can go on like Etsy or places and buy one where people have like better grip pens. So anyway, but if you don't mind this, you get this with your kit. So that would be what an unfinished canvas looks like. Of course, here's one once it's finished. So Sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> All right, um, where to next? I forgot. <laughs> okay, so like I said, you get everything you need in a kit. You get everything you need in here, the little kitty scarecrow, um, like Wizard of Oz guy I showed you. Again, everything you need is right in the kit. The one tool that I love, and I did not use it for my first two diamond paintings I did, but I heard people talking about them and I thought, you know, I really need this because I have to wear my glasses when I do this because, you know, it's kind of small. Um, I bought a light board. So this is just a super thin little tablet. You can see, super thin. It has a little USB plug over here on the side. So I just plug it right into my computer when I'm using it. And this actually, you just lay down on your table you put your canvas on top and then it has three different lighting sensors so you can light your canvas up and see all the letters and symbols better and let me tell you it makes a huge difference so i know there's all different kind of price light boards you can get i'm going to put links down in the uh, description for everything i have here i think this light board was like 22 or 27 dollars you might be able to get them cheaper, but I love this one. It works great and uh, it's been a lifesaver. So um, even though everything you need does come in the kit, this would be like the one thing I would recommend. Like if you were gonna get anything for diamond painting, I would get a light board. Outside of that, I showed you, let me grab it here. You have all the little drills, which are the little beads. So as you're doing a painting, let me show you this one again, you might use some brown down here and then you might not use brown again until you get way up here. So you're going to want some place to store your drills. Now you can just keep them in little like Ziploc baggies or what I found that I really, really loved was this. These are little cases. They were super inexpensive on Amazon. I think I got two of these for $6.99, free shipping. They're amazing. So you have this big case and if you open it up, you have a bunch of these smaller little like um, four cases in a row and each one just opens up individually and you can put your drills right in there. Now what I did is I just took some washi tape and I cut little pieces to fit on there and then I just used a Sharpie marker and um, you know, just labeled them. That way I know what number I'm working on and what color. So you can see, let's grab like this one. Hello, Simon. There's my kitty. Hi, baby. 
Okay, so like these right here just have all my little drills in there. So as I'm working on a painting, when I find more, let's say number seven, I can just go ahead and um, get them out of here. So there's all different ways to organize and store them. I like to follow a number order just because it's super simple for me. So I think that's kind of the basics. I did want to show you a tip. This is just the way I'm keeping track of what I purchased. There are all different ways to keep track. I just thought this would be fun for me. So what I did, I just have a little traveler's notebook right here. And it's just one of the little inserts. And I have a kitty. <laughs> so what I did is I just, as I purchased things, I printed off a picture and the cat's rubbing on it. <laughs> I printed off a picture on sticky paper, just like sticker paper that I purchased on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link that paper below. I'll also, I always have linked in the description, um, I have an HP printer and I use the Instant Ink program, which is like $2.99 a month and I can print 50 full color pages a month. It's amazing, I love it. So I have a link down there. I think if you use the link, you get 30 free days. So that's pretty cool, check it out. But um, what I did here is I just numbered one, two, and kind of went all the way through. So I'm gonna flip through really quick and just show you what I have purchased. Oh, also when I finish a diamond painting, I'm just putting the date I finished right there. So Simon, you're making this <laughs> really difficult. Okay, so, whoops, I skipped a page. So this just has, I'm not keeping track of when I received them or if I've received them yet in here, I am keeping track elsewhere. But these are just the diamond paintings that I have purchased thus far. So I bought the one at Michael's and then I kind of like binge purchased a ton. And you know, Michael's, the ones are a little bit pricier. They're probably a little bit better quality overall, but um, the ones on AliExpress and Amazon and eBay, they're super inexpensive. So. I have that, that's how I'm keeping track of stuff. Let's just go ahead and look at my work in progress right here and then we'll finish with my completeds. So this is the other way you can get paper. You can get the clear sheet over or you can get this um, opaque sheet. This one I'm working on right here is the rose from Beauty and the Beast. So you can see this is what I have completed so far. So it's, it's getting there. I'm getting close to doing the rows. So I'm really excited about that. So that's a work in progress. For completed, this was my first one. And sorry for all the plastic. Let me get all the plastic off these. This was the second one I completed. And it's just this little kitty. One of my sons called it the Skittles kitty because he said it looked like a bag of Skittles exploded on the cat. So I have that one. That's another partial, but this one did have a lot to cover. So that was cool. My next one was this one. So it's these little kitties. These are like Lisa Frank kitties. And I got this one on Amazon. And this is also a partial because this pink area isn't covered, but the rest of it is. So you can kind of see the little kitties. They're super sparkly and awesome. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, the one difference is you can buy round kits, which if you look really up close, these drills are round. Or you can buy square kits, which this one is my first square. I think I like the squares a little bit better. They cover like completely. Okay, and so my very last completed one is this New York City one. Um, we have the Statue of Liberty, a bunch of buildings, fireworks in the sky. It's really pretty and awesome. So I'm having a ton of fun with this. I would love to hear if you guys are doing diamond painting. Let me know your channel. I think that would be awesome. So I hope this explained everything. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned because the next video up on the channel should be a diamond painting haul. All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you next time.